Welcome back, my fellow sea serpents, to Platinum Indie Sunday. <laughs> On Platinum Indie Sunday, we make a platinum video for a bunch of indie games. This week, I looked for a bunch of Mega March sale ones. I went to the $1.99 tab, and I wanted to see how many games I could get. So we have five games for you today. Yes, if you want me to play a specific game, leave it in the comments below. But let's jump on into our Platinum Indie Sunday. Our first game for today, if you're familiar with the channel and if you're a vet, is called My Name is Mayo. This was featured in Mr. Masaji. I'll leave a little tab for that if you want to watch that video. But it has 51 trophies. Holy fuck, that's a lot. But the platinum is 77.2%. This is one of those games where pretty much you just do one thing and it's so easy to get the platinum trophy for. This game was made all the way back in 2016 by Green Lava Studios and its description reads, If you're looking for a next generation gameplay experience in an engrossing open world environment, well, this is not the game. This is the touchy story about a mayo jar. It's a click adventure. So let's jump on into the game. Banana saves your game. All right, our game crashed right away as soon as I loaded it. So that's a great start. This is the first I am. Oh God, two. I don't even know what number that quantifies as, but that's holy shit, man. Alright, because I'm too lazy to plug in music Random here, fact. and just because I want you guys to experience what I had to hear the entire time I played this game, pretty much there are facts and then there's story to the game um, for the first game. Pretty much you get new outfits, and you just keep clicking this mayo jar. You have to click this mayo jar, I shit you not, 10,000 times. I believe it's 10,000 times in order to platinum the game. Also, you need to do it for every single story uh, beat. And you need to do it for a certain amount of times. Eventually, you'll get a bunch of trophies for getting all the facts, doing every single story feature right there. Um, you can tell by which one's a different story based off of the different uh, outfits the mayo jar is wearing or how the mayo jar looks differently there's even one that's a philosopher which that one is hard to tell but you'll just get a bunch of trophies in the process this game ultimately was super easy to platinum by the way all i did was i put a youtube video on in the background mashed my x button until it broke um i'm pretty sure it's broken because i can't use it no more and yeah thank you mr mayo because this game has officially broke my 70 dollar controller Believe it or not, this was probably not one of the worst games I played for this series of videos. It actually was pretty funny and pretty quirky. Um, there's a bunch of outfits you can get. I think my favorite one is the emo one, where he just looks like he likes My Chemical Romance. There's another one where the mayo jar wanted to also be a rocker. I, I, I don't really get that. Like, the, the, the mayo jar's dad wasn't proud of them. I don't know what's going on, but the emo the one was funny. Not the emo mayonnaise jar. <laughs> But finally, after a shitload of clicking, after finally clicking for 10,000 clicks, I finally got to the last point. I also made the Mayo wear the leopard print uh, <laughs> outfit, and we got the Platinum Trophy. Yes, that was My Name is Mayo, the first one. We're going to jump into the next video. You thought we were done with mayonnaise. Oh, man. No, we're hopping into My Name is Mayo 2. My Name is Mayo 2 is one of those games that came out in 2020. So there's a four-year jump in between games. It has this many likes and ratings, which is actually really fucking good. It was made by the same exact company, Green Lava Studios, and it has a similar feel to the first game. And its description is pretty much a long paragraph, but it reads as this. This is a clicker game about a mayonnaise jar. It's also creamy, dreamy, and properly sequilly. Right in the middle of the next gen hurricane. Comes that true next gen everyone's... Okay, pretty much this was supposed to come out for the PS5. I, I, I have no idea. We're just going to jump into this game. Just like the first game, you had to get a certain amount of clicks in order to get the Platinum Trophy. You also had to do every single story beat. Except for they actually changed up the layout and kind of how the game looks as a whole. There's actually a bunch of tabs everywhere where it tells you each story beat, like love, dreams, myself, money. You even have a bunch of cool pictures you get in the process of it for each individual fact and uh, each single story beat you get. I actually thought this was pretty neat. Um, it was kind of a quality of life improvement, which I really like. I mean, come on. It's so funny going back and seeing some of the facts and there's a guy just eating a pizza on the moon and it's hand drawn so it looks really good it just looks really good there's so many like quirky little different areas too for each story beat like the mayo going on to the moon i never thought i'd like the mayo game as much as i did before when playing this um there's even one where you there's this going on i don't even know what the hell's going on this feels like like i'm in a coma i don't know what is going on with me in fever dreams but this is one of them there's even a day and night cycle they have a day and night cycle for one of the story beats which is <laughs> insane that a mayo game could do this they even have a section where they have feet and mayonnaise together. Yes, it's a very weird one. And they even have whatever the hell this thing is. I have no idea what this thing is. I don't know what I'm looking at. But yeah. 
This game is a vast improvement on the first game because there's actually gameplay in the game. They have like these little mini subsections where you play these mini games. One for jumping over the uh, self-hating words. There's one for getting on top of these things. I don't even know what the hell to call this. Um, there's even another one where you pretty much shoot pizzas towards everybody. I have no idea why, but it was actually pretty fun. The best part about this game is I don't have to click the mayonnaise jar 10,000 times. You can actually click these birds, which give you 10 points each, and eventually you'll get to 10,000. That's exactly what I did, and that's how I got the platinum trophy for this game. Well, there's, there's a reason why a lot of people have it. it. This is one of the easiest games to platinum, and I'm glad to have it on my tab and have it for this video series. But let's hop into the next game. My name is Mayo3. It's the last game that I could find that is in the series. So I'm assuming this is the last game for the My Name is Mayo series. Now there is a little Easter egg with Mr. Misaji, which I brought up before, but this is the ratings for this game. It doesn't have a whole lot compared to the second one, but it did come out in 2022, made by the same exact studio. Its description reads this. Groovy, emotional to climax of mayonnaise and the end of a trilogy. Life is like a box of mayonnaise, my mama used to say. Eventually you just run out of it, and it sinks up the fridge. This final clicker game will seal the destiny of our beloved mayo how will this end heck even we don't know behold the third and final entry of the my name is mayo universe so it is the last one the overwhelming and emotional story of our hero will unfold with the classic real life tapping mechanic lots of unlockable achievements in between and one other surprising buried inside so pretty much that is the description this is in fact the last my name is mayo that they plan on making um the amount of trophies they actually have for this game is around the same amount i think it's 51 yeah it's 51 it's the same amount and the platinum it has 88.0 percent people should platinum it this this is a lot a lot of people got this platinum trophy but let's jump on into the game all right my name is mayo 3 did everything my name is mayo 2 perfectly and then they even made it better by giving it an 80s aesthetic and also the best part about this game on top of that is there's a pizza section they have these little sections every time you unlock a sticker which is really awesome i love the 80s aesthetics ultimately i'm a big hippie at heart i guess i don't know maybe i'm just a hipster who, who knows anyway another cool part about this game is that you get a hot you get a sexy goth girlfriend and you know me guys i love goth girls bro so this game is a 10 out of 10 in my book and they have all these fun sections but the worst part about this game not in a bad way but in a good way is the fact that the my name is mayo the mayo guy or girl yeah their father dies and it changes the pacing of the story very much after you become a virtual or a youtuber pretty much we find out that mayo's father passes away and then the whole game changes to where you're walking around you're reflecting on life the mayonnaise is while you're taking mushrooms and you're tripping you get a bunch of mini games in the process of it and it makes you kind of reflect on life especially for the fact that like if you don't take any of the mushrooms while you're going through the segment it's just no audio there's no audio at all besides just chirping of birds and it's like you're actually going on a nature walk you have to get a thing a total of 10 miles so it makes you really think especially if you lost a parent or you have lost somebody in your life it really makes you kind of think and it makes you feel how mayo feels in the process i never fucking thought i would say that for a game about mayonnaise but man it really made me think and have an existential crisis about what comes after and about my relationships with my father and the people in my life Funny enough too, without taking mushrooms in this game, I'm actually just wandering in nature and enjoying it. And it reminds me of how much I like to do that IRL. That's like so therapeutic. And then on top of it, it reminds me of Skyrim. Skyrim, I love Skyrim, just walking around in Skyrim. It's so therapeutic as well, especially with the music playing. Especially like I have it in the background right now. Eventually, we do finally reach our end. We finally reach the end of the story and our end of Mayo's quest line, where Mayo eventually sees a uh, image of his father in the sky, probably because of all the mushrooms <laughs> that he was taken or they were taken. And you get a bunch of inspirational quotes or pretty much self-improvement quotes. I don't know how you rephrase this, but Mayo's father's telling you, "Don't ever give up on yourself. Be true to who you are." Stuff that I can honestly empathize with and I vibe with, and I can't believe I said vibe with in a sentence right here. <laughs> But I can honestly appreciate and I really love that they ended the game off like this because it is a perfect inclusion to a may mayo mayonnaise jars storyline. I really can't believe this game made me think so much on the end and all a bunch of other stuff. I can't believe I had an existential crisis because of this game and it made me ponder my existence. But we eventually got the platinum trophy thus ending the journey of my name is Mayo.
So I'll be real honest with you guys, the My Name is Mayo franchise is probably up there for one of the best indie game franchises I've played. Uh, My Name is Mayo 1 was probably the worst one because I had to click and destroy my controller, my $70 controller, by pressing the Mayo jar 10,000 times. And I think the best one is My Name is Mayo 3, mainly because it made me ponder upon a lot of stuff. It also made me appreciate the people in my life a whole lot more, but we're going to hop on to the next game. For this game, I'm going to actually censor the first word in this game, but pretty much it's blank guy. And I don't want the video to get demonetized, that's why I'm doing that. I need to have rev. Anyway, this is the amount of ratings I got, 890 in total, almost a 5 star rating, which is actually pretty good um, in total. And then it came out in 2018 um, by this studio. It's an adventure puzzle game, and I didn't realize it was a puzzle game when I bought it. It was like 70 cents, it was dirt cheap. Um, the description reads, guy set in the incredible and extraordinary dreams of its protagonist. What would you do in order to save the thing you love most? Immerse yourself in its weird dreams and help him wake up before it's too late. Yeah, 3D display, yada yada yada. The amount of trophies this game has is 13 if you include the platinum trophy, which isn't a lot, believe it or not. Uh, it's actually very few, but the amount of stuff you have to do in order to obtain the trophies is quite a lot. You have to collect all the trophies and all this stuff. You'll see, like a bunch of statues. That's about 30% of people have platinum it. It's actually a lot of people who still platinum it. I think anything above like a 5% is a lot. So let's jump into the game. Alright boys and girls, this game is called Guy. Um, I gotta censor it because YouTube is not is gonna age restrict the hell out of me if I have this word. It begins with an S, you know what it is, and it ends with an E. Alright, um, look at this fat piece of shit sitting on the couch. He's literally me. My man's drinking a beer and eating two donuts. And look, he has himself on his portraits. Okay, there's 13 achievements for this game. We're John, John, Ben, do it. We're playing as Guy, Mr. Guy. Look at him with the mustard stained shirt. He should be wearing a white beater. Oh, my man dozed off. He's gonna go into the dream world. He's just like me. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can see his fat, tubby body. Oh, my God. Look at his shadow. He looks like some crazy cryptid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're Santa Claus. What's this? I picked this up. All right. Ah. Ah. All right. We don't want that on. Can I actually pick that up? Okay, so we can punch. I just knocked that off the cliff. There's a button to burp. All right. Well. Fuck this trash can. <laughs> Whoa. Hey guys. Hey guys. When you see them double D's. Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. Whoa. Oh, look how pretty. Pretty the... Whoa. Whoa. Look how pretty the world is. Actually, the skybox is moving. Look, see? The skybox is Whoa. in head. Do I jump? Whoa. Whoa. Alright, fuck it. What happens if I just do this? Fuck it, we're doing it. What the... What the? <laughs> oh my god, I gotta achieve it. It says kill yourself. It, the beer is going down. It doesn't even go in his mouth. This Bert and Ernie looking ass dude, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, this guy, this guy's narcoleptic. He got spilling beer. No, not the Budweiser. Oh, what the hell? We're working? We're a chef? What the fuck beaver coal my dream is this? Why do I find these games? Where do I get these games from? No! The beer! We need to wake up now! Where's the- My beer is falling to the floor. I have to wake up as soon as possible. Alright. The hot dogs. Um, hamburger. Mm, I'm very hungry. Hamburger. Mm, I'm very hungry. I looked at myself. Where did I look at myself at? Oh. Oh, I do look good. Employed in the month of October? Pretty good. What the fuck? Tap to enter levels. Wait, did we not? Shit. We gotta wake up. This epic music. This shit better be copyright free. What did that? Oh. Aha! Let's go, let's go, let's go, we gotta get our beer! Our Budweiser! Our, our rolling rocks! Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Shit! Gotta get our beer. 
Get back, get back there. I'll do anything for a beer. Ah! Am I just supposed to jump off the, the chain and that? What I was supposed to do? Oh man, look look how beautiful that sun. What the fuck is this? Sun? Look how beautiful that sun setting is. Oh my god, it's so it's so beautiful. Look how beautiful the sunset is. Oh my god! I actually got jump scared by that. Like I mentioned in the start of this game, there's a bunch of statues you have to grab in order to pretty much get the platinum trophy. You have to collect every single one of these statues in the game. They're super easy to find. They're like slightly out of the way. You can find them super easily. And there's a bunch of trophies for collecting them. I think the ultimate goal is to collect all of them. Oh, you do you want a hot dog? Oh, I want a hot dog so bad. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take this fucking wiener. Stick this wiener in your mouth. I know you want the wiener. Ah! Taking this to go. Oh, DoorDash. Fuck. Got it. All right, let's see if I brought it to the next level. All right, let's see if this game works its way. No! Am I in space? What the fuck? All right, there we go. Cool, 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 cool. Is that the fucking sun? Let's, let's just drive this ship right into it. Let's see if we can do it. An annoying thing about this game, and I'll bring this up constantly if I talk about this game, because it gets really frustrating, especially when you keep progressing more, is these weird puzzle segments where you have to stack blocks or stack items on top of other items, because the game's physics does not work. Like, it will not, they will knock off very easily, and it's very janky, and it's very strange. But eventually you turn on the generator, and you ultimately get to the next area, and this is what happens. You take the moon and you take the sun. You take everything that's like fun. Whatever they say in the Oh my god! Oh my god! No! I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. It was getting to this point where each level started to drag on. If it wasn't a quick mission, the quick missions are the funnest parts in this game, but if it wasn't a quick one and it was a long level like this one, it got really boring and really old really quickly, especially since you had to deal with that janky puzzle. But each level, one's an Aztec level where you get treasured, one you start a monster. Yeah, that's there's, they're all goofy levels. If it, if it just like, if we just died in electrocution, that's lame. That reminds me of a show, it's like a thousand ways to die. No, not the dumb ways to die, a thousand ways to die. And it was like on MTV, and it would tell you like all these crazy ways people died. Like one, there was one time a lady, she was like having sex. The lady, she was having sex, and, and like, but she wasn't having sex, she was like, she was like a gold digger, right? And she, uh, she, fuck. I, I'm trying to like go off of like it's her last memory. She pretty much what she did was she <laughs> she she had like a bunch of coins she collected and she had she had a room where she like just grinded coins or she like not ate coins but she literally like Scrooge McDuck the coins right she would like go and dive into it and uh damn why the hell is the red one that one um she was Scrooge McDuck the coins and so. That happened, and then an earthquake happened. I think though, my favorite one, there's like one is like a guy jumps off like the building, you know what I mean? And then they tell you the impact. But then there was one that I liked a lot, um, not to be morbid as fuck, just cause how goofy it was. So this guy, he's taking a piss and he's in the middle of the desert, and the snake, a snake, could sneaks up to him. But instead of the snake biting him, the snake wraps around his gun, and then shoots his gun, unloads his gun into him, and then the man dies. Like, what the fuck? Why the hell did that even happen? How is that, how is that possible? There's one where a girl, she shoved a carrot, stick up her, you know, vagina, but she sharpened it so much, to make it look more phallic, I guess, and she killed herself by like, I don't think he looks like a Yo, what's up, man? You good, bro? Hey, bro, you good? You, hey, man, you hungry? Oh, shit! 
Each level is usually a reference towards something, which I really like, especially the portal level. Anything with the portal gun is actually really fun. I mean, come on, adding a portal gun to the game is amazing. There's a Mario level where you can use the Mario blocks instead of getting coin to use them to parkour around the map. This one wasn't as good, but I still appreciated the novelty of this map as a whole. And there's even another level, which this level was just an office level. It was not a reference to anything, and the gimmick was you had to pretty much flood the entire office. And this is where you get another trophy for actually eating a donut. Control the food. Alright. Oh, donut! Mmm, donut. More donuts. Give me that. There's even a level, believe it or not, there's a level where you summon Satan in a church. I, I was not expecting it to be that. Pretty much you have to sacrifice this goat and then you can summon Satan. Yes, this is a level and it's very strange and very weird. This game really does make you feel like you're actually in a fever dream like the character is, which it does really well. Then there's a boss level towards the end of this where pretty much you can't jump off the building, which is what you need to do to um, wake yourself up. Um, so you have to defeat this boss by ultimately parkouring, throwing trash cans at this guy by the way, throwing trash cans or barrels at them, then you had to Goomba stomp on top of them, and eventually you will beat this boss and get towards the end of the game. Beer! Rescue the beer! What if I get hit by the car? What's that supposed to happen? Got the beer! The beer broke! No! Alright, come on, do it! Please! Huh. Beer rescued. Finish the game. We rescued the beer. Yes. Ooh. This motherfucker gonna fall right back asleep. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. Fuck you, guy. And he fell back to sleep. What a dick. But we're not done yet. There's another trophy for beating the extra level, which is extra level one. There's only one of these. And pretty much it's just combining all the dreams that the guy had the entire time into one. And it was actually kind of an easy level. It was pretty fun. And then there's another trophy for collecting all the statues. And then there's a secret trophy in the Mario level that I completely missed. And then we got the platinum trophy. No, not Yoshi's egg. This is the thing I have to break to platinum the game is Yoshi's egg. I don't even know this was here. Oh! What the oops? Well, we got the platinum. <laughs> Ultimately, this game was actually pretty fun. It was not a drag, um, besides the bigger levels, but I would give this game a two goobies out of the five. Let's hop into the last game for today. Our last game for this video is going to be L.A. Cops. L.A. Cops is a game that has, uh, I believe, 934 or 904 ratings, um, and it has a three-star rating, uh, almost four, which is pretty good. It came out in 2015. It's a tactical shooter. Damn, this game is fucking old. Its description reads as this. Listen up! This city is being overwhelmed by low life and filth. It's time to toughen up, fight back. Let's forget the rules and start cleaning up these streets our way. There's a lot of bad guys out there, so I don't want you to go in alone. So pretty much we're a cop and then we just have to enforce law by any means necessary. Sounds fun. This game has 14 trophies in total and it doesn't seem too bad. It has about 14% of people platinum it. Let's just jump on into the game and see what it's about. Alright, LA Cops. This is LA Cops, boys. Let's get into it. Oh, look at the little donut eating icon. Alright, so we got, I think there's eight levels. We got eight levels. Yeah, we got eight levels and we got credits. So we have to. That's the leaderboards. At the academy, we're not gonna do that. Um. Can I do it on a hard difficulty? Oh hell yeah! Do we get to pick select like cops? There's Williams, Berlin, Kowalski, Murphy, Green. Katsu, um, bro, Berlin, Borlin, hey, bro, Borlin, and Kowalski. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah, that's, oh shit! There's a cutscene. Doom, 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 doom. Damn, Kowalski. Oh no, his wife. His wife's the voice in the way. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait, let's end. Let's start down on a fucking positive note. Now we're gonna take out our frustration. 
We're gonna take our frustration out on the donut stores. Thieves will hold up on the doo doo donuts. They'll hold a cheap Dan you hostage. These punks need to know you don't okay, rob our store. Get in there and take them. Get in there. Shut the fuck up. We're trying to meet. Get in there and take them out. Rescued. Alright, fuck it. We're going to nightmare. Alright, alright. Let's see if I can arrest everybody. I don't arrest people. I go up to them. It's like a tactical shooter. Alright. Please! <gasps> My partner died! Alright. Oh shit. Alright. He's fucking dead. Okay. Please! We got cops. I fucking suck. Cover me. Cover me. I'm going in. My partner! You killed my partner, you son of a bitch! My fucking partner! Kowalski, no! I'll get these sons of bitches for you. They took our donut shops and they take my partner's life. Now I'm gonna take theirs. Freeze, you son of a bitch! How dare you invade our donut shop? Okay, this shit is hard. You ain't seen nothing. What is the guy? He's just walking. I'm going in. Alright, we're going in. No, I tried to save him. He saved himself. I think he shot me. Fucking pussy! I'm rested. Okay, so you could have. Okay, so you just. Fucking fish! Alright. Alright, I have an idea. <laughs> that was the most intimidating thing I've ever heard in my life. So there are three trophies that we can get in one pretty much map. Pretty much all we have to do is just arrest everybody. We have to not die at all or get hit. And then we have to complete a level with both of our partners alive. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can easily do this by constantly like banging these doors and just spamming the melee button. What I did was I shot and tried to bait all these guys to come out. The AI is very inconsistent, so sometimes they'll hear your gunshots and sometimes they won't. It's very annoying, but we got a bunch of trophies for no hits. We got another one for um, pretty much all the rest. You can do this so easily in the beginning of the game. I even did this on Nightmare difficulty. There's a trophy for completing all the missions on Nightmare. I even got the one with no deaths as well. I did this all one little setting it took me a while to actually do it because the ai was all goofy but pretty much every single map there's a bunch of different objectives usually it's always take out criminals and get to an objective like a door or an elevator or something like that they kind of progress towards the game the issue with the game on nightmare is that you get one shotted so you have to be really careful and it gets really frustrating so why i ultimately end up doing i got to the third level somehow and i don't even know how so what I had to do was I had to go back into the first mission and I ended up grinding the living hell out of the first mission until I got like 100 XP. By the way, you get like 3 or 4 XP every time you beat the level. So I just watched YouTube in the background, watched the video, watched me some Ordinary Gamers video, got 98 XP. I maxed out our boy Thomas Berlin and we maxed out everything. And I was like, alright, there's no way we can't beat this game now. There's no way in hell. We maxed out everything, we got every single gun we could. By the way, the um, the assault rifle is the best in the game, because it just has a high damage output. We got the trophy max stats, and this is pretty much where my I absolutely lost it. I got to the end of the game, I'm skipping all the way to the end. There's only 8 maps, uh, which I thought, there's not 8 maps by the way, spoiler alert. But I got to the end, and I lost my mind. This was one of the hardest things I had to do, it was so fucking frustrating i absolutely hated every second of it the ai was inconsistent sometimes they would shoot you through walls sometimes they wouldn't sometimes your shots would miss but ultimately we defeated the final boss somehow i do not know it took me an hour just stuck on this level to get to the final boss and then we got the end credits cutscene and i was ready to get all these trophies and platinum the game here and there i spent three or four hours trying to platinum this game and, well, we got to the end credits, and, well, I got nothing. Nothing happened. And I was very confused, and I was very frustrated. And it turns out, there's more than eight levels that you have to beat on Nightmare. There's the old house, these blue little uh, billboards, the old house, penthouse, bank job, power station. I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I am not doing these maps. This is going to be the only game where I did not platinum for this series of videos because of how frustrating it was. I'm not even gonna review this game, that's how frustrating it was. But my final thoughts and my final statement on LA Cops is, fuck you.